Coming up this week, we've got the top five at Oldham Towers. So, welcome to the Coast Freak Show. Hello. I'm Jay. He's Rain. Let's go. <laughs> Coming in at number five is the wonderful family coaster. Go 30. 30. Or 30, I should say. Yeah, no one heard that, but he said 30. 30! <laughs> Or if I do this, I can't do the sound of a thing. What's it called? What is that thing called? And it's 13. Which was made in 2010, which was the first unique drop roller coaster. Another John Wardley special. <laughs> yes, it's an awesome ride. Um, everyone loves the second half of the ride, I guess, more than the first half of the ride. Yeah. But if but no, it's one of them rides. If you're riding it for the first time, it's good to go on with someone else who hasn't ridden it before, because mm. the it's they always um, at the drop. I mean, yeah, the first coaster is drop down. You can't see the blue thing yeah. behind the tree, which is kind of cool because you don't know what you're getting until you get on it. Um, there's always a big queue for it, but no, thirteen definitely in at number five. Uh, nice family coaster. Well, I'd say it's a little bit more than family coaster. Yeah, family coaster with a twist. Yeah. Oh god. So, uh, good ride. First, I believe, vertical drop coaster of its kind in the world, which is a really, just goes down on. <laughs> down a big old. Down a big old. It is short and sweet, but it is still one of the great Alton Towers. Still, uh, probably one of the scariest rides of Alton Towers, I think. Feeling uh, wise, just that little. Not for me, not really scared of heights, so no. it doesn't really bother me. Just, very cold it. in the morning when you go through that mist yeah. and keep it, 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 it is, it is the, uh, the wake oh. up ride. You go there first thing, it's yeah. up away. Throughput's normally quite good, although you do spend a lot more time on the brake run <laughs> than you do on actual ride. Yeah. But no, Oblivion, definitely worthy of going at number four there. Designed by who? Exactly. <laughs> we don't know. Could have been an old dude, you think, maybe? <laughs> Smiler. Good old 14 inversions. <coughs> that definitely keeps gets you awake in the morning. Mm. It is a good ride. <coughs> it's quite rough, it depends where you see it. Of course it's rough, it's made by Gerschlau. But I do enjoy Gerschlau it. Gerschlau is actually German for rough. <laughs> I don't know if it's... <laughs> Don't listen to those translations, that cannot be correct. You will fail your GCSEs. Yeah. Still doing this. <laughs> but no, it is a great roller coaster for what it is. It's 
It's definitely up there. It's a top tip for tall people. As long as you sit at the front or the back, don't sit in the middle. If you've got long legs like me. Sit at the front, definitely. At the back's not so bad, sit right at the front. I know it's not like a long train thing, but in the middle it tends to be a bit more out. But yeah, it's a good ride. Um, you said it's uh, what we should say, bad press in the past, but um, get over it. That's normally humans that make a mess up, not computers. Um, get, get over it. But no, we, it's I a safe it. ride. Don't fear it. It's it's fun. It's a good ride. Got and it's very good in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> Two. I'm going to call it air. It is air. Because screw Galactica. Keep the VR. It, it doesn't focus. It doesn't. The only fit. thing I want you to keep is the music. Yeah, the music. Keep the awesome. music because that's just epic. Love that music. Um, but you take the VR off. All the waiting, waiting around, and the throughput noise that's created by people getting eye infections by using screwy kids VR. No, you don't need VR. It was designed to be a flying coaster, so you feel like you're flying through the trees. You can't see the trees if you've got the arm. So, but as air, top coaster and fantastic in the dark. 
absolutely fantastic because it is dark. <laughs> when you go out the back section through the trees, it, it is very dark. The top tip when you go through the portal and onto your back, close your eyes, give a bit of Christ air. It's, it's, it's very good. It's, uh, it's definitely in the number. Um, number two. The Nemesis, the one and only, the greatest ride in the UK, probably, but maybe not after the couple have opened in the next year or so. We might be one at Blackpool that might steal it for yeah. me. But at the minute, currently, my favourite anyway, and probably most people's hopefully, is that lovely B&M invert, opened in 1994, John Wardley special, no. known as the Roaring Beast Nemesis. You just can't, you can't beat it. You can't beat the sound, you can't beat the feel, you can't beat the any of it. <laughs> yeah, there's never a cue, so it's even better. When it's dark and cold and wet, it gets faster and faster and faster. I should find out scare face. But no, I keep the wheel covers on. But yeah, Nemesis is definitely the best ride on the park. For me, it's the best ride in the UK. It's better than a lot of rides I've ridden in Europe. Um, but, uh, I've got a lot of rides to do in Europe, so. A long way to go. In, in the UK, definitely, it's the best. If you think it's Nemesis Inferno is better, I'm sorry, but you're wrong. <laughs> if you think any other ride is better in the UK than that at the minute, well, again, you're wrong. Um, I'm just a Nemesis fanboy. He's got something to do with that ride. He likes it a lot. Yeah. So, so, all that roars in a cave, as I'm hanging under, underneath it, I've got that. Number one. Thanks for watching our top five, and here next week we'll be getting our top five from Thorpe Park. It's, it's kind of be tough. It's gonna be hard. But thanks for watching.